Hello again, everyone, and happy Valentine's Day, or more likely, happy belated Valentine's Day. It's rather late on Valentine's Day as I'm recording this video. And as you can see, I am all decked out as the CEO in pajamas on Valentine's Day. And check me if I'm wrong, isn't this just completely heinous? I mean, just really. Wow. You wouldn't think. It's the same pajamas, you know, in red as I normally wear in black, but this is just, you know, somehow six kinds of wrong. But at any rate, it is Valentine's Day, and what better way to commemorate the feast of Valentine, Bishop, Saint, and Martyr, than by putting on red pajamas and, you know, buying kind of Valentine-themed stuff from the stores here, you know. Or at least Valentine's Day massacre stuff. I mean, you know, at least the, the chocolates and the stuff and the romance kind of makes sense. Because as I recall, uh, he, you know, Bishop Valentine used to actually, you know, marry people secretly. You know, he was prohibited by law because of the oppression of the church, but he would still marry them and take his, his life into his own hands to do this. And eventually, of course, laying it down in the the awesome way that martyrs do. And let's see, what's on sale here? So why, you know, at least, you know, the romantic stuff kind of is a stretch, but they, you know, it does work out. You, you, you miss out on a whole lot of stuff here. But there are some things that, you know, you can glean here from, you know, from the Valentine's... I don't know, there's nothing really we can say here that's Valerie Valentine's. It's GTA. But we're doing a Valentine's GTA video, so why not? Um, they released the, the classy Vamos here today, and... I'm not going to buy the Vamos currently. It's, I was gonna thinking about doing this, you know, buying one, doing it in red or pink or something like that, or going into the Bruffy crew and putting the Bruffy heart on the side and making it a whole Valentine's Day thing. But there has been so much done and said about this particular car, especially by Bruffy 1322 and GTA Men and Pyrelm Gaming and all kinds of stuff like that that we're just I, I'm not gonna cover all that we're, we're just not we're not doing that okay what we are going to do is we're gonna go into the legendary and do something I have not done it's hard to believe really um, but you know since I've got myself back up to seven million some odd we have some cash to work with here we have the original Albany Roosevelt Party like it's the Prohibition era in this armored 1920s limousine, perfect for a gangster and his mall on their first day or their last. That sounds just wrong. Let the Valentine's Day massacres commence. So obviously, it's a Valentine's Day massacre kind of thing. So let's order that for, let's see, what is it? Half a million? Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to put it in the, um, let's put it in B1 of the new arena workshops here. I think they got, I think I remember having a lot of room in B1. And then right next to it, right alongside of it. Oh, come on. Let's reload. We don't want two of them. Let's go. Oh, we kind of want two of them, but not exactly two of them. Scroll is an old kind of thing. Here for a little bit more of the Albany Roosevelt Valor. They don't make them like they used to, which is a good thing, because here at Albany, we're, we've completely run out of ideas. Lovely remodel with room for a new suite of personal modifications like superchargers. The latest edition of our classic Roosevelt represents a new height of criminal refinement, taking you back to the golden age of fraud, racketeering, and murder, when all you had to worry about were a few charges of tax evasion, obviously referencing Al Capone. And of course, Valentine's Day, so we're going to do that in a another sumptuous red color here. Where is it? Put it in B1. Um, let's see, anything else that we need to get here? Well, I know if you go to Warstock, and by the way, thanks to GTA Men for pointing all this stuff out to me. He's my usual source for what's happening. I never did get, I, mean, I have this, 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 I have this. I, yeah, I have a couple of those. They were free at one point. Um, got that one, but I don't have the ballistic equipment. A little bit. You never know. We can... We can get that on sale. Don't think I really have a Valentine's Day application for it. At least I certainly hope that I won't have a Valentine's Day application of it. So well, let us go down and let's Valentine these cars up a little bit. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with them. I don't know the full extent of 
what's available as far as the modifications on these. But I think we need to take a quick ride down to the arena now, and we're going to use the Valentine's Day special. Of course we are. Why would we not use... Why well, could we use any other car? It's Valentine's Day. It's a car that I modified up a little while ago. A Lampadati Pigale. Up and around and around. By the way, I'm trying to play with the mic a little bit. I've turned it up a little bit so you can hear my voice a little bit better. I think you can also hear the key keyboard and mouse a little bit better. So I think I need need to work on my overall setup a little bit here. I need to improve some things here. What's the, what's the fastest path down to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the garage? Business battle, goods type cargo. Is it something really easy? I can see doing something really easy. I can also see ignoring it altogether because I'm already doing something here. I only have so much time. Ah, uh, the duffel bag one. No, I, I want to drive this car. I don't feel like flying back and forth. And I have a pair of Roosevelt's to modify. Should we do one as Teddy and one as FDR? Or Franklin and Teddy? Or Franklin and somebody in a Teddy? I don't know where we're going with this, but it's, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, there was a, a joke from, uh, I remember, Rock 107 back in the day. It's, it's Valentine's Day, so be sure to eat candy. And if she's not home, see if her sister's there. So that was just, that was just wonderful. But how they got away with that stuff on the air back in the 80s, I have no idea. Yeah, I know you're saying, have you listened to Howard Stern? Yeah, well, he's on pay radio now, so I mean, you know. This was, this was broadcast. It was edgy. And eventually they made them tone it down a little bit, I think, but... Okay, where are these things here? Alright, which one's the Valor and which one's the... I mean, I guess the white, the one with the white walls has got to be the Valor, but we'll, we'll see. We'll hop into this one first. You pick red, you get orange. This is the, uh, yeah, let's modify it. Okay... Armor. I guess we, you, you have to have it armored. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing here. Is. Oh, these upgrades aren't bad. Let's see the horn. Is it worth 50k, though? I don't know. Let's, we'll think about that. The respray looks like it's going to be the main thing on this one. If you want to do it, we could do a chrome crew on it. But it's supposed to be a... Va I don't know, I'm not making an actual Valentine's Day special. Let's see if we go... We go matte. Do a matte finish, uh, matte finish on it. Okay. Well, that covers the wheels, too. Oh, let's see what if we do metallic. Metallic pink, hot pink, Mr. Pink, salmon pink, sunrise oranges. A little, you know, the dew yellow kind of does pop. That's actually not bad with kind of the brown overtones of whatever that orange is. That's, that's... Like, that actually kind of works with the secondary color, doesn't it? Or is it terrible? I don't know. It's kind of working for me. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm just tired. Maybe it's... It's Valentine's Day. This is a totally different, uh, you know, direction. I hadn't planned on going in this direction. I mean, secondary color, what is it? Is it it's sunrise orange. Okay, so we can get back to it. That, now that's appropriately heinous. That's just, wow. 
Wow, that's just, you know. Kind of kind of works, but I don't know for if it works on an emotional level for me as, as good as the sunrise orange and the dew yellow. I, I, I don't know if anything's going to work for me as well as that. Some things will look better. I mean, this looks better. Stone silver. Ooh. Ooh. There's something to that. The stone silver picks up the dew yellow that little bit. Did we buy it? I don't even know. We've lost track of where the... So that's that's what we said it was kind of kind of a look. Oh, I'm, I'm really crossed up now. Which should we go with? Beechwood Brown. Now that that has a you know that looks like it's about right too. The, the Browns, of course, would make sense, especially given the uh, the vehicle. Ooh, the, the cream. I have a lime cream stick. Will go in here. It's making me glad I got two cars. Certainly black always works. But if we... This way... I don't know. For right now, I'm going to leave it like this. I know. You saw that coming, probably. And again, I don't know if the clash is just, you know, just right or just wrong. Or if someday I'll look at this and think, what was I thinking and repaint it. But for right now... Suspension. I guess we should drop the suspension, boost the transmission, and of course, why not make it a turbo? Wheels will leave in stock. Windows, yeah, we'll leave the windows stock too. We're not really. You know, I can't put Zen on. I like it. Just seems wrong somehow for this car. All right, for this car. Let's just exit the re exit the workshop. That's not I tell you what the black would probably look better though. We'll ponder it. We'll ponder it. Now this thing you might be thinking, well see, that's the same car. Oh, look at this. Now the armor is much more expensive. I don't want to go through all my money. I mean, you know, it's... You can see this thing. This thing is obviously... Alright, let's just do it. Let's do it, do it. Bumpers. Front bumper. We have the stock. The classic. The elegance. I'm thinking the classic. The classic looks a little bit... That, that's working for me more. I don't know if those lights work or they're just there, but I guess we'll find out. This is an older video, you know, older video, older vehicle, so they might work. That's kind of weird. Is that exhaust supposed to be coming through? Like, why is there just a hole there? No, it's not a hole there. It's just get the 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 lens is getting screwed up by the uh, exhaust. Well, I imagine we'll do a. Uh, Chassis. Oh, here we go. Look at all of these possible things. Arch covers. Primary arch covers. Sure. Side grill. How can we not have a side grill? Maybe we can have no side grill. We can have it open. Chrome lights. Lights. Oh, yeah. Just let's let's do the whole thing right up to craziness. Side let's see. Spare wheel. Okay. None. There is a wheel there. Is this the spoiler option, do you think? So they're saying that there's no wheels there, but there is. If we put the spare wheel cover on, then it's... I kind of like having all the white wall exposed. That's kind of a thing. 
I mean to the whole white badges, Albany badge, diamond badge, diamond wing badge. What's well, an Albany? Let's make it an Albany badge. Light deflectors. Max Chrome. Why not? Ornaments. Yes, whatever they are. Certainly. Spotlights. So many lights. Rear spare wheel. None. Oh, yeah. It's, we've, we've got to just have, like, just spare wheels all over this thing. We're, we're ready to go cross-country. Okay, this is the cross-country runner we've got going here. Engine. Engine tunes. That's interesting. That's like there was an option to do more with the engine, but it's not there. They just had you have to get, you know they had the secondary level there where you can make maybe change the look of the engine. Grill, classic stock grill, classic chrome, and then vertical chrome. Now, you think that looks unnecessarily restrictive or just really chromey? Which do I like the look of better? I'm thinking the vertical chrome wheel. The hood. Okay, now we're just getting to silliness here. Vertical ram pipes. Triple bug in cage, a single out, just completely supercharged out. Do you know I actually like the stock hood better? I hadn't planned on that. This was this was I was gonna do something along these lines. Go get silly with it. Get down with the sickness on this one here, you know, but Alright, if we're gonna do anything, we're gonna do this one. The, the, the old school vertical intake kind of thing with the hood open. But for right now foreign lights. Um, respray on this one. I'm not even sure where I wanna go with this. Okay, no, that would be that would be kind of interesting. We go black with the sunrise orange. Then I'm just kind of stuck on sunrise orange, aren't I? That's just Is that a bad thing? Did he just, you know, stuck on sunrise orange? Of course the black doesn't highlight the fact that we've got all the tires going. We might wanna Need this one, we want to do the dewy yellow and the uh, stone silver as a secondary. Garnet red, grace red. It is a Valentine's Day car. If we go grace red and then secondary, go metallic, then go with the stone silver. Oh, that looks nice. You know, I almost wish on this one, normally I like it when the, the secondary pearlescent um, overlaps on the secondary a little bit. It might, might be nicer if this one was a little bit, if it didn't do that. Or, should we reverse the colors? Make, the, make it red. Do we have gray thread on this? But it does look good. I think I think we should go with this. See, anything else we can do here? We could tint out the windows. Can we limo this out. I mean, that's, I feel like it's losing a little bit of character when you do that. Although that does look good. Not like it's gonna be make it harder for me to get shot out or something like that. I'm just gonna get blasted here. So I think I think I'm gonna leave those go so we can see. You can see better into the interior. Let's drive this one. I'll tell you what, look at this one. I'm starting to th rethink the paint job on the other one. I'm, I'm thinking the... Boy, this is not a quick car. It doesn't feel quick. I mean, maybe it's just the sound. The engine sound is... 
No, it's definitely not quick. It's the quicker of the two, I'm sure. Well, we can always check with Bruffy 1322's uh, you know, classics uh, selection there and see where this did rank. Let's take the other one out in the sun and see how it looks. With the dew yellow and the sunrise orange. You know, out here, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I have a feeling that, I, you know, having seen the stone silver work so well. Yeah, let's, let's get back into it. Let's tweak this up a little bit more. I was going to go a little bit goofy with this, but now I'm thinking there might be so much more potential here. Respray. Primary color. Let's go metallic. Where is that? Gasoline green. No, it's... Of course, if we change that to stone silver, then we lose the colored wheels. The wheels will look stone silver, too. So let's try to just go secondary on this. Go with a metallic stone silver or something along with bronze works. Here's stone silver. That's let's try that. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I just it's you know, there's that almost looks you know, it's it's weird. It's it's like a monochromatic green that that, that turns the whole thing into it. I, I don't know why, but it's just I think black works better than the the red, but not real. Uh, this is weird. This is messing with my head. I feel like I need a clashing color for this one. Just, just don't. Maybe, maybe do yellow is just the wrong base. Bison brown. All right, let's get into the browns. Creek brown, Feltzer brown, Maple brown, Brown brown. Then again, you could always go with bronze over bleached brown. Yeah, I've, I've been playing with this for a little while. It does look good. That kind of works. I could change up the wheels really on either of them here, but. I, I like the fact that the spares match. You know, there's just something to that. It ties the look together. I mean, this one, really, I, I was gonna go kind of wild with it. You know, I, well, I do these in the uh, when you're selling them through the special vehicle missions, you know, the import-export stuff, you usually end up doing like a green over a purple Joker kind of car. The Joker, you know, something along those lines. With a supercharger and all that, and wild custom wheels. But this just, there's something about, maybe it's just my mood tonight that makes me want to go classic with it. I don't know what that is. Hey there. Not now, LGT. Ah. Well, you know, while we're at this. Just in case it ever comes up. Expensive mods on this, too. Secondary color, metallic. I know where I'm going with this one. This is. Where the heck is the red? The Reno red. Now there should be. Oh, here it is. Library. 
There's a specific thing I want to go for here. I don't think it's, it's not that one. There you go. This gives it that kind of Richard Petty look that goes really well with my crew colors. And let's see, that's that, suspension, slam it. Race transmission, turbo of course, although NASCAR is on turbo. Wheels leave them stock, they look too cool. Windows leave alone. Oh, you know what we should do with the, with the wheels? Tires. Tire enhancements, bulletproof. I don't think I bulletproof the other tires on those other ones either. We have to look at that. So now, at least if I end up going into a race, which that should be out the window, but yeah. Okay, let's get bulletproof tires on these. See, you need the bulletproof tires, see? Not that one. Wheels, tires, tire enhancements, bulletproofs. The other one, get the bulletproof tires. I wonder, just thinking about horns. Okay, so it does have the, the classic horn for the, uh, the stock horn. Well, let's see. Should we do anything else here? We could, this is, I've decided to move, by the way, the Stratum here. This will be my parts car. My parts runner. I don't know. Let's see. Do we want to go... Let's want to go to the workshop level and see what else I have to, to build up here. It's Valentine. Well, it's... Technically now we're pretty much into the day after Valentine's Day. We're, we're still working. How much would it be to bring this up to speed? Let's look at this, because this is... She's going to be dangerous, alright. What are we doing then? Uh, the boost... 400,000... I don't want to give it the shunt boost. I want to give it like the, the actual speed boost. Yeah. Fine. Let's see. Body work. Armor plating. Heavy. Yeah, we might as well go heavy. Three hundred. That's expensive stuff. But there's money to be made right now. Roll cage. Glow cage. I don't know what that even means. Rear wheel cover. I'm kind of cross on that. Cross on that one because I've got bulletproof tires. I think anyway. It does look cool. It gives it more glow. That looks pretty cool as it is. Yeah, you notice the colors have changed on this again? Okay, sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're gray. Fine. Rear phantom covers. Oh yeah, sexy shit. Spikes, no. They give it a lot more glow, but that's just annoying looking. Blades. Do we put the spinning blades on it? I mean, how often is that going to actually come up? And, you know, this, it does make the car a little wider. And it, it does look this a lot cooler this way. And now the wheels are yellow again. Okay. Engine is already up. Exhaust. Stock exhaust. All right. Side exhausts. Out the hood. Not working for me. Spike exhausts. 
Okay, the exhausts are coming out of spikes. Ray gun exhaust. I think we'll leave that nice in stock. Fenders, we've already picked that. Uh, I think we already picked that, yeah. We no library. Name. The colors are kind of reminiscent of my old high school. Which, it's a little bit too small a car to be called a Bruin. But, our motto was to restore all things. That was the school motto. And the running gag, of course, the running joke was, uh, you know... Uh, let's see, we fit it in there. If we... No, that doesn't make any sense. Let's call it the Bruin. Well, of course, if we ever get the, 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 the truck and do it in these colors, then that would be more of a Bruin. It's just... A, all right, I don't know what to name this. I have not a clue. Not a little bit of a clue. Transmission's up. Turbo's there. Do we want to give it the vertical jump? Man, I'll take us down to four million. Fine. Now, as far as the front blade is concerned, we go to weapons. Ram weapons. The Mega Blade. I mean, that's cool, and it'll launch stuff. You got this big motor sitting out here. I mean, which we would. I mean, you'd need that. But it looks like it'll get caught on things, and this is going to be a racer. I'm wondering because if you, if you hit somebody with this, it just it just you know shunts them off to the side. I think for the time being, I'll leave that as it is. Um, Proxmine. Yeah, give it the EMP. Uh, spikes only. Everybody's got bulletproof tires. Kinex is going to knock them around a little bit. Slick, nah, only the turns, maybe. It'd be a little annoying with this. Dropping bombs, sweet. So we're down to 3.8 million. But like I said, there's, there's kind of stuff to do here. Things okay. at the workshop. The others are going to be projects. We'll, we'll get there at some point. At some point, I will rev all these up and move them downstairs. But, for right now. Let's see. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't the car I want to take out necessarily for... Uh, for Valentine's Day, although I'm happy with it. Let us now go back downstairs here. There is one thing I do want to do, and I, we can we can grab one of the uh, the cars here. I think the brown one or the red one. Let's see, it's Valentine's Day. We'll go with the the somewhat red one. It's faster. Probably marginally. Okay, where's the nearest gun store? Guns, guns, guns. Ta da! Not too bad. I mean, it is a cla it is a sports classic, but it's not gonna it's not gonna hang with anything. That looks like you know a more modern car. It's not that close. It's not horrible though. The one other bit of kit that's on sale here is uh, what the heck is the actual name of it? It's it's the the Tommy gun. That's right. See, I'm here for a gun. See. Now where is it? It's on sale. These are on sale too, but 
everything in here is they're way too expensive, expensive for what they are as far as I'm concerned and you know when really wildly uh, the Gusenberg sweeper and we already own one so we do have that should we give it like a, a pink tint no no we shouldn't thanks for stopping in yeah, thanks. I didn't really I gain all that much. Um, armor, 50 of 10. Okay, so that's that's the benefit of having uh, you know been logged in on Christmas when they load everything up above and beyond anything you could possibly do. It's an old car. It's a pleasant old car. With a lot of hidden modifications. Here We're here we for a car show. Hold on. We're going to... There you go. That, that's a good look for it. And on that note, Happy Valentine's Day, folks. I hope you... You know, that you've had a wonderful Valentine's Day in some way, shape, or fashion. I hope you realize exactly how completely disconnected from Valentine's Day this whole thing really is here. But hey, hopefully we had a little bit of fun, right? I am your Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>